right now 8-0-1, heading into a huge matchup with Abilene Christian tomorrow. And this is uh, it's going to be a showdown we got. Yeah, it's a big one. Um, I think both teams still have uh, something they feel that they need to uh, prove. Um, and what better way than against each other? Uh, it should be a great, great matchup, uh, very similar. Uh, type of styles and formations, and it's just going to be a, a head-to-head -head kind of battle, and we'll see which team comes out. Both teams 8-0-1 right now, the only undefeated teams left in the Southland Conference at this point. Is there going to be any one factor other than, than execution that's going to determine a winner in this one? Uh, I just still think it's, it's like I kind of hit on it. I think it's still that team that feels they do have something to prove. Um, you know, we can't we can't let our record just speak for us. Uh, we still have something to prove. I think there's still some doubts out there about kind of where we are and everything, and, and that, that's fine. Uh, you know, we can only do what we've done so far and, and hopefully keep that rolling as well. Every test that's been thrown at the Colonels so far this year, you've been able to pass. And a big, two, really two tests last weekend, not only winning at home against McNeese State, but then going on the road and defeating Corpus Christi as well. This team seems like they feel right now they can do anything. Yeah, I mean, the, the game on Friday was a great game. Um, you know, we took our chances, did well with those. Uh, then to go ahead and get on the bus for a few hours, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Um, it, it was nice. So I think I think we did a good job of the setting that we put ourselves in, and then the the setting that Corpus has with their facilities and everything kind of put it at ease and and made it made it enjoyable to play out there, to be honest. Um, and so we we were ready. We came out and and put them under some pressure early in the game. Um, we're under a little bit of pressure ourselves the the second half, but once again found found a way to get it done. This team right now in the top five in the nation in scoring offense, and it seems like every match you're giving yourself just a little bit of a buffer, which certainly helps toward the end. It does, and we, we talked about it last year as well, um, having lost so many games by that 1-0 score line. Uh, it just puts more pressure on our defenders to make sure that you know there's no real mistakes or anything like that. And, and you can't play tense. Uh, you can't think about those things. So being able to come out early, get those early goals, uh, changes the dynamic of the game. It uh, changes the way our team plays. It's more of a free-flowing uh, style of play. And, it, and I know our players enjoy playing from, from, from that lead. With each passing victory, do you feel like more and more people are starting to take notice? Yeah, yeah. Um, just walking to go get coffee the other day, you know, just getting stopped and saying, saying congrats. Uh, it's, it's different. It is different, and it's, it's, it's welcome. You know, I, I'm glad that people have kind of, kind of enjoyed it and shared the excitement with us. I know our players have definitely enjoyed it. They've been working hard at this to even get to this point. Um, and I, I think that type of, you know, notice is going to help them keep pushing. I mean, it, it, it is a long season. We're about halfway through right now. And we recognize that we still have some, some things to accomplish. And, but just being acknowledged for what we've done so far, but also the excitement of, you know, recognizing that more and more fans are going to hopefully come out to the games. Uh, I expect tomorrow to be packed. Uh, it's going to help. It's going to help push our team when, when we need it, for sure. You mentioned goals that still need to be met, and this team can't rest on their laurels, and I know you've stressed that to them as well. How has the intensity been in practice so far this week? It's, it's been okay. I mean, we, we actually had to make some adjustments just due to weather. Uh, once again, we, we had to go inside and got some things done in there. Um, and then yesterday, had a, had a training out here, and it, it, was, it was good. I think we talked about the things that we want to go ahead and execute, and then today we're just going to take a look at it once more and, and make sure technically we're, we're ready to go ahead and execute those things. Abilene Christian tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Incarnate Word on Sunday at 1. This is homecoming week. Fans that haven't seen you yet, this is when they need to be out here. It is, and it's also uh, it's our alumni week for, for our soccer team, both men and women's alumni. So if anybody's around, please come out. We'll even have an alumni game on Saturday as well. Uh, but we're going to count on a lot of people being out here. I think, I think that's going to be another factor that's really going to help our team tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we'll continue to put up a good show like we have.